broadcasting around the world on the internet 24 hours a day at www.odysseytv.org. This is Odyssey Instructional Television, a program of the San Bernardino County Regional Occupational Program. Well, hey, everybody, Jim Hall, you ought to know, and we're coming from high up in the San Bernardino Mountains. We're in Big Bear, California, Big Bear Lake to be exact. And take a look here. It says it right there, Caden, Big Bear Choppers. Do you see that on there? One of your favorite rides, or it will be after today's show. Caden along with us on this show. And Big Bear Choppers is where we are. We're going to find out about entrepreneurship. Kevin and Mona and the story of Big Bear Choppers. Yes, you may have heard about Big Bear Choppers winning some big awards. They're going to talk about that too. We're going to see some of the custom designed bikes all from the mind of Kevin and how to run a business all from the mind of Mona. Kevin and Mona will be with us on this show from Big Bear Lake, California. You ready to do some fishing? Yeah. You ready to do some chopper riding? You want to see the motorcycles? We're going to have a good time everybody on this show from Big Bear Lake, California. Big Bear Chopper is coming up next simply because, you ready, Caden? You ought to know. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Jim Hall, you ought to know, from Big Bear Lake, California. And Big Bear Lake, boy, I think of it as a resort community, a retirement-type uh, community for a lot of people. In fact, my folks have a house here, have for 35 years. But some newcomers up here, well, recent newcomers in the past uh, 11, 12 years or so. Introduce yourself, Kevin. Oh, Kevin Alsop. And Mona. Mona Alsop. Uh, that means you're related. So let's yeah. get right to that, right? You are yes. related. Yeah, we, we uh, help pay each other's bills. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and Mona, I understand I got a little background on you. I understand before this, we're going to talk about this, but you were an animal lover. Yes, I worked. Uh, I was a veterinary technician for about 15 years before we moved up here. It's what I've done since I was 16. Worked at animal hospitals, worked at humane societies, and moved up here and was happy to land a job at the one, in, I think there's two animal hospitals up here. So landed a job at one of them, and that kind of pretty much brought us to Big Bear. Well, what did bring you to Big Bear, Kevin? What was the starting point to get you here? Well, I, I think that the truth of the matter is that Mona said, I'm moving to Big Bear, are you coming? And I said, well, I think so. <laughs> So Mona, <laughs> Mona, though, is uh, I'm, I'm getting a really deal here already, and I don't know that much about you yet, but we'll know a little bit more after this show. Uh, you must run the business, so to speak. And not, well, we both actually have two completely different parts of the business. Yep. Kevin's a designer. Kevin yep. does the motorcycles. I handle the business end. And our jobs have changed over the years. I mean, starting from when he and I did everything from the beginning and then branching out and getting employees to do the jobs that we used to do. So well, we and you, that's a good point because when you first came to this, you guys had, you, you weren't always in this beautiful building or this location. Where'd you start out? Oh well, you know, uh, somebody just sent us a check. We didn't know who it was, and we just started. So <laughs> yeah, no, you were in another location doing yeah. what? You actually were repairing jet skis or anything, right? Yeah, exactly, Jim. I mean, we started from the ground, and um, I was just doing repairs, and then Mona came and joined me, and then we both started just. Mona was working in the office, and I was doing all the repairs and working on motorcycles and rebuilding engines and, and uh, making happy customers, and we just grew from that. So it's been one step at a time. What has that growing process been like in this type of a business, to build your own business, first off? 
about? Well, to build our own business, we never planned. The interesting thing is we never planned to create this company. We moved up here. I was happy that he got some oil changes in. I said, as long as you can pay the bills in your little shop, I'll work at the animal hospital and we'll make this work. Well, it got to the point where he had more than oil changes to do. And I said, well, I can go over there and start answering the phones and doing you know, some work. So we started working together. And at that time, our daughter was born. So that was nine years ago. And I you know, took the opportunity to stay home or stay at work you know, to bring her into work and to make it work you know, just with the two of us. Okay, so, you know, you can pay the rent. I'll do this. We'll do this, and just try to make it work out. Just to start something small to keep us living up here, and it just started rolling and rolling and turning into a bigger opportunity. And we saw the opportunity and just, you know, went for it. Where was the first location that you actually had a business set up here in Big Bear? Well, actually, I'd, I'd started behind the Kawasaki shop, and uh, the old man that used to own it at the time said, "Hey." I went in there for a job, you know, I applied for a job, and he said, I'll tell you what, there's a little shed I have in the back. If you can do some repairs out of there, give me 20% of the, the money that you make, he says, you can have that shed and do your work. And he said, but I'm not going to pay you um, an hourly rate, so if you get work, great, if you don't, you don't. So I'm like, okay, so I gave it a shot, and, and uh, I was there five months, saved up some money, and moved into my first shot shop over in Big Bear City on Greenway and the Boulevard, and that was a, a massive shop, that was 600 square feet. <laughs> And uh, we used to wheel the bikes in round the back and to get them into the building. And uh, I was there for two and a half years and we just progressed. Well, we're, we're going to see some of that progression here in the next segment. We're going to see some fabrication. And that brings up a whole other point, that whole mindset. Where did you come up with all these different things that you do? Um, well, it's, it's a process of evolution, you know, and, and, and you get an idea and then you try it and it works and you move on to the next idea and that works and you, and you just keep progressing and it's, it's evolution. Mona, from the business side of it, again, when you talk about this location where we're at here, fantastic facility. What's it been like getting to this point, and when did you get into this big building you're in now? We've been in this building for two years now, and uh, the exciting part was that we were able to purchase some land after we've saved all of our money from over there. And when we first started out, I wanted basically for us to buy a house. Well, we kept putting our money back into the business, back into the business. We're renting a small little 800 square foot house, but we're putting all of our money back in here. So it was exciting to watch this being built because this was pretty much our dream home, our dream home for our company. But in turn, it you know gave us back what we wanted, which is to own own a home here in Big Bear Lake. Well, and, and you've certainly grown that. Is it, like any business, you continue to have ups and downs and struggles, but what is that like, that growing process? It's hard. <laughs> the growing process is very hard. It's a struggle because we didn't really know what we're doing. I mean, I went to veterinary school. You know, Kevin's a diesel mechanic. So to be able to put a business together, to get the licensing, to get everything that we needed to get to this point, it was just a daily, it was a struggle. It's a daily struggle trying to find out, call the right people. Who can help me? I had to call lawyers. Who can help me get this? How do I get this license? How do I get this certification and just learning. It was like going to school for the last 10 years. All right. The school of hard well, Kevin, stay with us. We're going to head for fabrication here a little bit and see some of the shop, and then we're going to be back and join you here with some of the final product right. and talk about some of these uh, great things that go on, like Ride the Mountain and so forth. We're in Big Bear Lake, California, everybody. Big Bear Lake is where we're at. If you don't know where it is, it's in the San Bernardino Mountains, and we're at Big Bear Choppers, simply because, like with every show, you ought to know. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Jim Hall, you ought to know, and I'm along here with Kevin. Uh, Kevin, talk about we're in fabrication now. This is where it all gets put together. I mean, you're talking about for everything from fenders, oil tanks, fuel tanks, the frame, everything happens here. Right. We actually manufacture the lower legs for the front suspension, the triple trees for the front end, the frame itself, the gas caps, the kickstands, the rear axles, the front axle, uh, the oil tanks, like you said, the rear fenders, uh, the license plate brackets, springer front ends. We make we fabricate and manufacture a lot of items. Uh, the complete, basically the complete bike except for the engine and transmission. And we even actually manufacture the primary drive system between the engine and transmission. So you even do that. Yeah. And then your engines now, are you have manufactured by whom? Well, actually, they're, they're manufactured for us exclusively by s, &S. Um, Our engines are uh, exclusive to us uh, because of the bill of materials that's in the engines as specified by us. Okay. Now you were talking about production here. When you're uh, in full production, things are going on. How many people are we talking about are here at any given time working? 
Um, it, it'll range as the season fluctuates uh, with orders, uh, typically anywhere from uh, 40 to 60 or 70. That's a lot of people, a lot of production going on. And normally you'll have, you mentioned a few minutes ago, you have a few bikes yet to build out. But uh, order-wise, you're always, how, do, do you stay up on production? Yeah, production, I mean, we build to order, so we don't uh, forecast our builds or our orders because um, we don't know how things are going to fluctuate, especially in this type of environment in the economy. Uh, so we've always built to order, even when things were really going great. So that's, that's really kept us in check. Well, and then uh, that being the case, if uh, people see the show or we, uh, I have an interest in a bike and I have a, how do, first off, how do I get a design? If I have some idea in my head, do people help me with that or how do we come up with that final product? Well, actually, we have like 18 different designs, so there's a lot to choose from. Okay. Um, and we have 65 dealers in the U.S., so we have a complete dealer network, international as well as domestic. We have uh, 20 dealers international, so we have a total of 85, uh, sorry, 80 dealers worldwide, 65 of which are in the U.S. And um, so we have basically one in almost every state. And actually, I think there's like seven or eight dealers just in California. Now, when you do in full production here when things are happening, uh, getting your materials that you need and what have you. Is that a challenge, getting it up here into Big Bear Lake for you? No, not at all. The uh, All the trucking companies and UPS or FedEx Freight or whoever, uh, they're, they're, they're experienced in, this, in, in the snow and that sort of thing. So when it does snow, they just put on their chains and drive up the hill just like anybody else. So it works out fine. We never have delays in our products or raw materials. Well, I was going to ask you, when we do a, a bike, if I have an interest in a bike, so to speak, or a particular design, uh, what's the, uh, from when I order the bike to when the bike is uh, ready to go, what's the normal time on that? Uh, right now it's four to six weeks. Mm -hmm. So it's it's fairly small lead time, and you would work out all the details with your dealer and exactly what you wanted as far as paint scheming, uh, or what type of design, which bike, which frame, which front end, whatever, uh, and then that order would be placed by the dealer uh, along with your paint scheme, and then we would go ahead and commence the production on it, and it'd be four to six weeks. Now you mentioned dealers. Uh, can people come to you here directly and do these? Uh, only if they live within a 30 mile radius of uh, Big Bear. So that would basically include Apple Valley area. Um, and Big Bear Lake and Arrowhead. Other than that, they would, we would uh, really want them to go to a dealer. And unless there was some reason, special reason, they couldn't go to a dealer, then they could come direct to us. Uh, dealers in Southern California then, Los Angeles area? Oh, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got dealers in uh, Temecula, uh, we've got dealers in um, Harbor City, um, yeah, we've got dealers all around, we've got uh, Triple Threat down in um, Mission Viejo, and we've got dealers up north in San Francisco area. You got people all over the yeah. Southland and across the country and international. Yeah, and when you spe say international, people are going to say, "Wait a minute, what's it with that accent? What? Where is he from?" Well, I'm from Australia originally, and I actually have three dealers in Australia, which is nice. So when I go back to visit, I can jump in and say hi to everybody. Um, we have two dealers in Switzerland. Uh, we have six dealers in France, two in Germany at this point, one in uh, Italy. Um, we have one in Sweden. And we have a dealer in Taiwan, uh, we have a dealer in New Zealand, uh, we have a dealer in Saudi Arabia, Dubai, uh, we have one in um, Brazil, uh, we have a dealer in South Africa, um, we, have, we just signed a distributor in Korea, in South Korea. There you go. <laughs> and um, I'm sure we have some others, but we have, we have a lot, yeah. All right. So don't go anywhere, everybody. We're going to be right back. We're going to be in the showroom. You're going to see some of the finished product. And uh, Mona's going to rejoin us out there. And we're going to talk about things like Athena. We're going to talk about Athena and uh, Ride the Mountain. We're going to find out about that. And a little bit more, Biker Build-Off. We're going to find out about that, too. So don't go anywhere, everybody, simply because you ought to know. We'll be right back. I was talking about earlier that uh, is the 100 Smooth that we have an exclusive on with SNS that we help develop with them. They're engine experts and that's the way we like it. Of course, the engine is built to our specifications for our vehicles um, and that's why we feel that we have engineered a complete vehicle. We just haven't engineered a frame and they're not worried about what the engine's doing. We engineered the engine along with the, the frame and the fenders and the tanks to the conditions and what, what, what's happening with this vehicle and what it's being used for along with the transmission with Burt Baker. Of course, our transmissions are exclusively uh, Burt Baker transmissions. and. Um, we're actually developing our own primary drive, which is important. My goal is, again, to have a vehicle uh, every bit as good as uh, any other major manufacturer out there. It's very important to me. 
once you get on them and ride them, um, the smoothness of the bikes is, is absolutely unbelievable. You can tell when you get on them that uh, they're not going to rattle apart. They're not, you know, they're, they're just a good solid, good solid bike and they're designed really well. We manufacture all of our own stuff. They're, they're designed here. Um, we have patents on them. They, uh, they get jigged up here and welded here and then, and then put together. And we get to have uh, more control over the quality of the bikes and the design um, because we do everything here in-house, which is awesome. I spend a lot of time here um, talking to our actual, the, the final customer, the retail customer that's out there. And um, they are the happiest group of customers in our whole industry, um, bar none. And that's because the, of the quality of the bikes, the design of the bikes. Um, you know, there's, there's only a couple reasons why people even buy these bikes. They are, you know, hot rods. You're, you're buying them to have fun, make new friends, um, get attention. You know, all those reasons. Welcome back everybody, Jim Hall, you ought to know, and I've got Mona back here with the final product, and we saw where fabrication takes, everything gets manufactured, the, I mean, and, and look at this, this is, this is the eye candy to I me. Know. You know? I know, they're beautiful, I mean, we sit here and look at them, and I can imagine, you know, where we got from the beginning point, and I'm not sure if Kevin explained that to you, but when we first started, we were doing kits for other companies, mm -hmm. um, we were just selling motorcycle kits that other companies created, custom chrome, things like that, and that's where we got the idea to start putting our own kits together. And we, we knew that people wanted a higher quality product than we were selling. And so that's how we got into the kit market. And after that, we got into the complete motorcycle market. Well, then, good question. Is the kit still available? The kit is still available. So and I think now with the economy going down, our kits are becoming more popular again. You can build your own bike. You can build one of these on your own, in your own garage. And it's one of the things that kind of put us on the map, build your own bike kit. Well, that's a good thing to know. So we can do it custom. Yes. Uh, and you do have certain models that are available, yes. or we can do the kits. You could do you could do every one of these models in a kit. Okay, I'm going to go kind of quick here with some of these things. Uh, let's talk about Ride the Mountain, yes. huge event. Yes, and this year was our seventh annual event, which was so exciting because every year it first started out as a customer appreciation party, and it's just grown into a bike show. And every year we do try to show our appreciation for our own customers. We get a VIP passes and make sure when they're out here they're taken care of, and we have a bike show specifically for the customers. So so that they were able to show the bikes that they built. Not, and we actually have a couple of bikes that were production bikes that the customers have spruced up and, and entered in the contest. So whatever they got, we welcome them and you know, you know, basically just support them every year with our show. Well, and then there was a big trophy for Biker Build-Off yes. that's here in the showroom. Yes. Talk about that. Well, we won the Biker Build-Off in 06, and that was pretty exciting for us because we had been watching Biker Build-Off. I think it was on for maybe three years before we actually got on. And I think we were one of the last episodes that they shot. And so it was well done. It was uh, it was done a lot better than the first ones that the Discovery Channel had done. They were a little bit raw. And towards the end, we had a lot of really good filming, a lot of good um, product, and a big feature on our uh, kicking off our Athena motorcycle. So yeah, we talk about, about the that. Athena motorcycle because uh, there's some uh, really some heart sediment with that one. Isn't yes, it? one of our good friends, Mike Espiotis, his daughter was killed in a drunk driving accident, and it happened about the same time that Discovery Channel had called us, and so we were dealing with that and dealing with put, you know having to put this bike together, and so we were glad to get Mike out of here because we all needed a ride to get out of the shop, and so we all went. We all went out to Louisiana and did the kickoff um, for the biker build-off but also for the model which we named after Athena. She was um, 18 years old and just a drastic, you know, it's horrible. Her life was taken by a horrible drink, drunk driving accident and we just tried to memorialize her with this motorcycle and, you know, we think about her every day when we're here. Well, the image is there, the cross is there, you have a picture of her here in the in the showroom. Does this bike stay in here? Does it go out on yeah. right? Well, this is actually, we gave this bike to Mike and mm -hmm. um, once we were finished with, with it, we, uh, pre you know, presented him with it at the show and, but he leaves it here and I think he takes it out sometimes either on her birthday or just when he kind of wants to go for a ride with her so 
And I guess that works. Now, I've seen some fantastic bikes. I've drifted in and out of here before I got a chance to say hello to you, and we got a, the opportunity to come up and do the show. Thank you. Uh, you had the Highway Patrol motorcycle yes. I saw here. Yeah, and I love that bike. We love to have it here because it's eye candy. We actually, I don't know if you got any video of it, but we did the wheels in-house, and there were badges on the wheels, and it was a memorial for all the officers that died through the Highway Patrol. So, And they commissioned it to be built. They take it out to all their shows. They even brought it to our show. So it's nice to see it when it comes out. So it travels all over the United States. Well, you've certainly done the job from the marketing side of things, yeah. which is one of my pet, I love the marketing end yeah, of it. And is, has that been really a big success for you? Well, one of the things I noticed when we came into the motorcycle industry is that the industry is just flooded with a lot of inappropriate things things involved with motorcycles, with women on motorcycles. It's hard to take your kids to a bike show. So we change that, at least in our realm. We don't use any women in advertising. We don't use any marketing, you know, women in bikinis on motorcycles. I mean, there's a place for us women in the industry, but in our, you know, if you can look at our website with your kids and know that something X-rated is not going to pop up on the website. And that was really hard to, to clean out because when we got in this industry, it was just flooded with it. And so we pride ourselves on being a family-owned company. You know, my daughter's in here she's nine years old and basically we showed I've taught her that I don't have to exploit women to be in the motorcycle industry to be in the motorcycle industry and be do something that we're proud of proud that you know people can bring their kids in here and they're not exposed to a lot of the things you see at the bike shows and it's not all about that it's about the product it's about the ride it's about just enjoying yourself on a motorcycle I mean our customers, you know, their wives want them to be involved with this, but they want to know that I'm gonna, my husband's going to get this bike and he's not going to get flashed when he's on the road. That's not what it's all about. It's about riding. And it's about the family, and it's knowing they can all participate together. Right. Mona, thank you thank so you much. Very much. Thank, thank you, you to coming. Kevin. And uh, we're going to have more. We'll be back, I'm sure. Big Bear Choppers is where we are, Big Bear Lake, California. She mentioned it's about family, and Caden is here somewhere. My grandson, it's with me on the opening and closing of every show. Wait till you see the closing of the show. We'll be right back to do that simply because you ought to know. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back to wrap it up. Well, that's going to put the wraps on another show, and Caden back here with me as we wrap this one up from Big Bear Lake, California. Big Bear Choppers is where we are. Special thanks to Kevin and Mona. Great family organization, entrepreneurship at its best, and Big Bear Choppers. You can find out more information, bigbearchoppers.com, and if you want to check it out for yourself when you're in Big Bear Lake, California in the San Bernardino Mountains, Big Bear Choppers is the place to go. Better yet, go to the website, check them out. Caden, are you ready? You want to pick one of the motorcycles you like best? Okay, we're going to do it simply because, like with every show, everybody, you ought to know. See you next time.